Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through my wash day and I thought I'd take you guys along with me through the process. So I first started off by detangling my hair with the main and tail detangler and now I am going in with the Design Essentials Peppermint and Aloe Therapeutic Shampoo and I am going to be mixing that with warm water and spraying that all over my scalp. And this time around, I decided to section my hair off into six small individual sections. So I have three on my left side and three on my right side. And I'm just going to be spraying my hair with the shampoo and water mixture. And I am going to wash my hair two times with the peppermint aloe shampoo mixture. But I'm not going to rinse out this first wash. I'm just gonna go in, make sure I get it on my scalp, and then I'm gonna pin it back up and do all of the other sections, and then I'm gonna go back through and shampoo the hair a second time. This time around, it was a lot easier for me to wash my hair, and I contribute that to using a moisturizing shampoo. So if you guys are having any issues detangling your hair when you're further along in your stretch try making sure that you use a moisturizing shampoo after you clarify your roots I am now on to my second wash and I am adding some additional shampoo which is the peppermint and aloe by Design Essentials. After I wash my hair a second time, I'm going to rinse my hair out in the sink and then I'm going to add the honey cream shampoo by Design Essentials. I think I like this method a lot better, especially when my scalp is really dry and flaky. I think it's important to actually take your time and actually be able to section the hair and go through it to make sure that all of the flaking and everything has been lifted from the scalp. 
if any of you guys have tried to do your hair this way let me know if you like it better or if you just prefer to just get in the shower and right here i was just showing you guys a little bit of my uh, new growth um, like i said i am almost six months post relaxer and so i wanted to show you guys exactly what my hair looks like and the texture of it when my hair is wet Right here is a couple clips of my hair with the Moisturizing Honey Cream Shampoo by Design Essentials. And as you can see, my hair is feeling a lot softer and it's a lot easier for me to manipulate my hair versus how it was last week. Um, last week, it was a lot more difficult for me because I did not use a moisturizing shampoo but i wanted to show you guys because i did not actually get in the shower and wash my hair with you guys this week i actually washed my hair in the sink so i wanted you guys to at least get some of that um footage This week I am using the Olive Oil Max Moisture Deep Treatment Conditioner along with the hair mayonnaise. And both of these uh, deep conditioners made my hair feel very, very soft. I started off by applying the hair mayonnaise to my new growth, making sure that I get that on my new growth so that it can stay nice, healthy, and strong. And then I work that down to the ends of my hair. And then after I add the hair mayonnaise to my hair, I'm gonna go behind that and add in the Olive Oil Max Moisture Deep Conditioner, which made it feel even softer. So if you guys have not used this combination and want to try it, I would say do so um, you don't learn unless you try some things and I'm very pleased with the results my like I said my hair was very soft and manageable so I felt like I was gonna have a more successful wash day um, starting off with using the honey cream by design essential shampoo and then following up with these two deep conditioners After I finish adding the deep conditioner to my hair, I am going to sit under a hooded dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I will be back to show you guys how my hair looks.
I am back from deep conditioning my hair and now I'm going in with the Kukui and Coconut Leave-In Conditioner and I'm going to be placing that on my hair from roots to tip and then I am going to sit under a hooded dryer and I'm going to stay there for about 10 minutes just to get the initial of my hair dry and then I am going to come back and then I'm going to blow dry my hair with my handheld blow dryer. So if you guys have been following my channel, you will know that I recently broke my handheld dryer. So I got this Infinity Pro Con Air dryer from my local CVS pharmacy, and I will be using that to blow dry my hair today. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair into four sections, and then I am going to start the detangling process, tips to root, and then I am going to start the blow dry process.
I have started the blow dry process and I am going to be using this um, comb attachment on the dryer to start detangling my hair a little further and drying it at the same time. And once I finish blow drying my hair, I am going to go in with my paddle brush to smooth down my roots. And I am using the dryer on the low setting and warm heat and then i'm gonna change it to hot as my hair gets drier
so guys this concludes the end of my video this is how my hair turned out and i am very pleased with the results if you guys aren't subscribed please consider doing so and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video